today on CityCast Philly. It's festival season, which means there are plenty of food trucks pulling up to serve some great grub. And then we have the tried and true staples all around the city. CityCast Philly food contributor Dave Wes is here with me to talk about our favorite food trucks. It's Wednesday, July 31st. I'm Trina Nuri, and here's what Philly's talking about. Dave, welcome back to the show. Always good to be back on the show. I can't wait to dive into some of our favorite food trucks today. Yes. And I just want to let folks know, if y'all are not following Dave on all of the social platforms, it's Feeding Time TV. And trust me, he's got great recommendations. But first, before we get into our recommendations, Dave, what is your take on Philly's food truck scene? There's a lot of food trucks in Philly, and there's a, a lot of good food trucks um, I feel like there's new ones popping up all the time. I will say, um, as of like pre-pandemic, I felt like everyone was opening a food truck. And I th- feel yeah. like it kind of slowed down a little bit. Um, but there's still a lot of good ones out there. All right. Let's take this bit by bit. We're going to talk about our favorite food trucks. Let's start with like food trucks that kind of offer like appetizers. So what's your first one? I'm going to go Humpty Dumplings. Um the dumplings is are an amazing little appetizer. So they do a lot of crazy dumplings. So they have their traditional ones, like their pork. Uh, but my favorite is they do like this Mexican street corn dumpling. And it's it's lightly fried. And you just pop it in your mouth. And it's like eating a street corn, like an elote, but in a dumpling form, which is like my mind just blows up with excitement and flavor when I have them. Now, is this a type of food truck you find at a festival? This is one that you'll see uh, at festivals. They pop up, but they also have a residency right now in Franklin Square. So if you go to the Lantern Festival, which is beautiful, and I highly recommend going, uh, you can get these Mexican street corn dumplings there amongst their other offerings. Nice. When I see a gathering of food trucks, the first thing I always look for is corn. The corn? <laughs> I, I was going to yes. say I look for the line because I'm like, oh, this, if it's a long line, it must be good. And then you debate, right. <laughs> do you want to wait in it or not? Right. Um. So, yes, I went to the S'more Fest Music Festival last year down at the Navy Yard, and there was a truck called Cornies, I like which is it. such a cute name. Oh, my God. Corn was phenomenal. So shout out to Cornies. And last month, I went to the Overbrook Night Market, and I got to have the crepe truck. So I had the vegetarian, like, pizza crepe, and I had um, the sweet Nutella strawberry crepe. So you went sweet and savory. You got one of each. Yes, I did. I got two. (laughs) That's a pro move. You got to get best of both worlds. I like that. Yes. Now, I was sharing that with the kids, but, you know, they like the (laughs) Nutella. (laughs) Me too. I like Nutella too. All right. Let's get into like the main courses. What do you got on your list for like tacos or like Mexican food? Ooh, Burrito Feliz. And they're known for their birria tacos. So Mm. you get, I think, three hefty tacos. You get like a a grilled jalapeno, a thing of consomme. And these boys are stuffed. And they're like you dippy, dippy time right in the consomme. They're really good birria tacos. Um, and they're everywhere, like around Philly. You can find them in their truck sometimes over at Love Park. They have a couple different locations where they pull up at. But they have some of the best beauty at tacos, I think, in the Philly, whether it be food truck or brick and mortar, in my opinion. And then on the taco train, I have Korea Taqueria. Um, so it's like Korean-Mexican fusion. Um, you need to try, well, everyone needs to try they're bulgogi tacos. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with bulgogi, it's a Korean meat that's marinated in this soy, sweet, uh, savory sauce. It's fantastic. Um, it gives you that like umami taste when you bite into it. It's a really good taco. Really nice blend of Korean Mexican flavors there. Nice. All right, let's move on to soul food. Ooh, GG and Big R's. Now, this is a food truck that's been around for quite some time. Uh, you see them everywhere, too. Yeah, I don't know. It makes me feel like there's more than one truck because they are everywhere. Um, Maybe. But I don't, I don't know. know if there's more than one <laughs> truck or not. But it's good. They, for, for your money, you get like a 
like five pounds to a platter. And I always get their fried chicken wings, uh, their collard greens, and their mac and cheese platter. And when you pay them the money and you get the platter, you just like, you feel it in your hands and you're like, oh, I definitely got my money's yeah. worth. <laughs> you, can, you can split that amongst a couple people at a night market easily. Yes. Um, that's probably my favorite soul food truck that I go to. How about yourself? Do you have one? Yeah, speaking of night markets, um, last year I went to the Northern Liberties night market, which was packed. Oh, my God. It's so crowded. Um, but I was able to stand in a long line and wait for the wings at Pot of Essence. Ooh. Let me tell you, it was worth the wait. Like, that's that's a one thing. It's like a tricky game you, you got to play sometimes with food trucks. You're like, oh, my God, if I stand in this line, is it going to be worth it? But... The wings there, I had like a habanero wing. Spicy, okay. Oh, it was spicy, but it was like, this is just right. This is just right. So shout out to their wings. Okay, Dave, I see you got my mom's pierogies on the list. And I just want to say the CityCast Philly team and I, we did a taste test of the HERS flavored chip contest. Yes. And my mom pierogies were on the list. They made a chip after these pierogies yes and i was very surprised i didn't have a pierogi just yet but i'm surprised about the flavor and i thought they were the best chips out of the bunch this year oh okay i have yet to try the hers chips i gotta give them a try but uh i love pierogies um well i'm polish my government last name was Olowski, so I grew up eating a lot of pierogies, guamkis, kibasi, and my mom's makes a really good pierogi with their with the traditional ones, or they make some fancy ones like a cheesesteak pierogi, which is really good as well. But I just like their good old fashioned potato. It's just really nice, really good pierogi, and you could go to this truck for an appetizer. Or if you want to order a bunch of pierogies, you can have it as a main. <laughs> so <laughs> it all depends on uh, how hungry you are, I guess. <laughs> nice. More food truck recommendations after the break. Do you ever worry about how easy it is for strangers to get your personal information on the Internet? Every day, data brokers collect and sell your personal information to third parties, from your social security number and address to your health and financial records. And this data can wind up in the hands of scammers, insurance companies, banks, and the government to target you. If you want to keep this from happening, check out Incogni. That's I-N-C-O-G-N-I. It takes just three minutes to set up and it'll scrub your personal information from more than 180 data brokers and people search websites. There's also a 30-day money-back guarantee. Get Incogni to protect your data and your time. Use the code CityCast for 55% off the annual plan at incogni.com. Again, that's I-N-C-O-G-N-I.com. Dave, I love when we both vibe and I can I can tell that, you know, we've got like similar taste buds. We both yes. have Zogies on our list. Yes. <laughs> Zazam. Right. Zogies. Right. Zogies. OK. Um, for those who don't know, what is Zogies? What's what's Zogies? Zogies is a play on hoagies. Uh, the chef that owns it. Um, He's, you, you, I highly recommend you following him on Instagram. Uh, when he speaks, he changes the first letter of every word to a Z, which is just kind of hilarious in itself. But I would say a Zogi is like a hoagie or a cheese, a sandwich that's on steroids. It's He, he overloads the sandwich. Uh, he deep fries his roll. Uh, first. Yes. I, I noticed that it was greasy. I was like, what, yeah. what, what is this? Yeah. Okay. So he takes the whole roll and he deep fries it. So it almost has like a, almost like a half roll, half donut taste when you bite into it. Cause it's kind of crispy and it is greasy. And my man stuffs these things, whether it's the cheese steak or he does a lot of seafood options. He's got an option on his menu. that I think it's like the Zodzilla or something like that. <laughs> and it's like piled high with, all sorts of seafood. I forget. He has a name for it. I want to say like 
like Godzilla, but he, he changed like the Zodzilla or something. Zodzilla. Yeah. <laughs> That's so much fun. I had the shrimp Zonster. Nice. Which is, I guess, shrimp monster. <laughs> but the cool thing about Zogies is that it's in like a really random place. It is in the parking lot of Lowe's. In Parkside, West Philly. Yeah. Yeah, there's plenty <laughs> so you of parking. Sit in your car. Yeah, plenty of parking. And you just sit in your car and wait for your sandwich. Oh, I have another one that I've, I just remembered. It's a newer one called Farina Pasta. They're doing mm. pasta out of a truck. Pasta out of a truck? Yeah. Tell me more about this. So uh, Farina Pasta is a food truck and they are a pasta concept. So you get to pick your sauce. You get to pick your pasta. Uh, they do have a brick and mortar in like Rittenhouse, which is fantastic. But the two recommendations I have from the food truck is the Dan Dan noodles and then anything pesto. His pesto sauce and his Dan Dan noodles are just fantastic. Uh, veteran known, super nice guy, uh, really good pasta. He's not doing any shortcuts. It's all fresh made. And you're really if you need if you want pasta at a, at a festival or anywhere you see this truck, you go to him and you will not be disappointed. Always cooked al dente, always cooked delicious. See, I'm excited about that because that is like a one stop shop. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know, that pasta is going to fill you up and like keep you keep you grounded for the whole rest of the festival. <laughs> yeah. It's, you get some of those carbs in your belly with some of right. these trucks. You're going to be good for another couple of hours of drinking. Right. <laughs> I just also want to mention like other staple food trucks that I see a lot at festivals and at, you know, outdoor gatherings. Crab fries from Chickies and Pete's. Oh, uh, that's a staple. That's a staple. So you can get they, that. They print money. Yeah. They like, print money. They, sheesh. Now, if you are... uh a native or you a long time Philadelphian, you know, chicken and Pete's crab fries are essential with the cheese dipping sauce. Mm. Um, I also got to mention the rice bowls from Walkworks. I haven't been to Walkworks yet. How is it? What? Yeah. Because they have oh. a brick and mortar up in uh, what, Fishtown. Yeah, they've got locations in Margate, Fishtown, South Philly, Wincote, and there's a food cart in University City. So they're everywhere. Nice. They they everything from South Philly to South Jersey right there. Yeah, <laughs> right. Uh yeah, rice bowls with like shrimp, chicken, steak. Mm. A1 right there. <laughs> All right, we've talked a lot about the main courses. I guess we skipped over breakfast. Uh <sighs> Dave, any food trucks uh serving breakfast that you like? Oh, there's so many in Center City. I know people are coming back to work. Uh you really can't get a better deal than a, a food truck or food cart. There's not food trucks per se because they're a little bit smaller of a stand, but uh, they always have a good breakfast sandwich for usually under like $6. So you yeah. can't really go wrong with that. And a hot coffee. <laughs> oh, yeah. I also have to shout out the breakfast food trucks on Temple University's campus, right on Montgomery in front of the student center. Um I've been out of school for some time. Not going to tell you that year, but uh, those food trucks kept us <laughs> nourished during uh, classes. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Um, there's a couple of food trucks that I want to try. I've seen them around. I just haven't had the room in my belly to, <laughs> to put the food in. Um, I want to go to House of Cupcakes. Ooh. Um, they're actually based, they're actually from Princeton, New Jersey, but I've seen their truck um, at some of the night markets. And I also want to try country cooking. This is Saw. She's famous on Instagram uh, from her cooking and opening her, a location at the Fresh Grocer on Monument Road. She's got a food truck now and she serves 20 to $25 crab platters. And we're talking like the full crabs, not crab legs, but those full crabs that you can eat, you know, during the summer. <laughs> like blue crabs? Like blue or... crabs. Ah, yes. nice. Get yeah. cracking, people. <laughs> Would you say that Philly is a good city for food trucks? Yeah, 100%. You could go to any outside, like any major venue, whether it be Temple or even like uh, the Philadelphia County College, and you're going to get some really good food trucks. And then if there's a night market, which there's a lot of them, it seems like there's one at least every month. The streets are going to be lined with delicious food options. Yes. Dave, as always, thank you so much for joining me on CityCast Philly. Thank you for having me. 
Oh, I'm so hungry. Ah, that's all for today here on CityCast Philly. If you enjoyed this episode about the food trucks that are in Philly, tell a friend, rate the show, leave us a review, and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to sign up for our morning newsletter, Hey Philly, to learn more about what else Philly's talking about. We'll be back tomorrow morning with more news from around the city. Bye. There's this one guy, I don't know what his name is. I don't even know if he still exists, but it was like uh, it was like Chinese food mm. on 18th and Market, and the line was always crazy. And you can, the thing was with him, you could get like chicken and shrimp, like he did the whole like you could get combos like that. Oh god, it was so good! Yeah. I only had a one time, and I was like hooked. But then I never went back, and I don't know if, if he's, he's still there. Anymore. <laughs> yeah, if you are out there, give me a call. Um, <laughs>